Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Friday, June 26th, 2009. This morning I'd like to go through a little disaster scenario type thing. Let's say that I've been working on my Facebook Connect in this image and I hadn't been saving it in store, I hadn't been filing out, I hadn't been saving parcels, I'd just been cheerfully working in this image for a few weeks and then disaster happened. Either the image became corrupt and wouldn't start, which sometimes happens to people, especially if they're working with C-Connect type stuff and they put their image in a bad state, or I accidentally deleted the file. You know, it's not like all of us haven't deleted a file we needed at some point. So, the question that came up last night was somebody hit me on the chat back widget was, I'm in that state, what do I do? Somebody had been working for months and seemed, felt like they had lost all their code. Well, all is not really lost. Let's quit this image, and what I'll do is I'll bring up a new image, and we'll pretend like that starter image there is just lost. The first thing you have to realize when you start off from scratch here is that any prerequisites that your package has, you're going to have to load manually. If you haven't been versioning this stuff in store parcels, prereqs aren't going to come in. So in my case, I needed to load the network clients code, which is already in this image. Now, the next thing you can do is you can go here to Tools and hit Change List. Now, this tool is for recovering source code, used for a number of things, but that's what we're going to do here. We're going to read different source from file, and I'm going to select fbtest.cha. So if I scroll down to look for that, you'll find that down in the apps I have, fbtest.cha. Now let's pretend that this one doesn't exist and doesn't work. This is the one I want, fbtest.cha. So I open that. It's going to bring all these changes in. Now this stuff where I loaded the parcel network clients, I'm going to ignore that stuff and scroll down to where I first recognize my code. And that's going to come right here, the package JSON reader. This is one of the packages that is part of my Facebook connection. So I'm going to say that's part of the code I lost. If I scroll down I can see all the rest of it in here. It turns out that this change file is kind of a database transaction log-ish kind of thing that keeps track of all the code I've been working on pretty much from the time that I started working in this image. So everything that I've done is in here. And what I can do is I can select something in here and I can do replay all from the top which is not what I want here or all from here down which is what I want now. So I select that and it's going to start replaying the changes and you'll see this little dialog here while it's working and you'll see everything flying past me here. It's physically going through the file replaying this all as if I were typing it again. So let's just pause the audio and video here while that happens. And you can see it's just about finished now coming down to the end of this and there it goes. It's just finished now. Everything's been loaded back in. Let's close this tool. And now if I open up a browser, you should see my code again. I scroll down here, I should see Facebook Domain, Facebook Connect, and then I go down here, I see my JSON reader. All that code that was in theory lost is now found again. Now at this point, you probably don't want to just save the image and move along. I mean, saving the image is a good idea, but you should select one of your packages here, and at the very least, do a file out of the package. And that's probably the least you should do. The next thing you should do is Make sure that you have a store repository configured, push your code into the store repository, and also another good thing if you just want to make sure you save all the code is publish it as a parcel, and that will save it in a binary loadable form. And the nice thing about that is that like loading from store, all the prerequisites that you set up are going to be there. So if you have a prerequisite on, say, network clients, it'll be preserved, and then you can load this conveniently instead of having to mentally go through that like I did with recovering the code through the change list. Key thing to remember though is, when you think you've lost code, you haven't really. If the change file is around, the .cha, which will be named the same thing as the image file, just with the .cha ending instead of .im, if that's around, you've got everything you've ever worked on. Now, if you've been working for weeks or months, it may be enormous, and when you load through all of that replay, there may be points in that sequence where it breaks because it does a do it that was based on the state of the image at the time, which does not match the state of the image you're replaying in. You can pretty much ignore those, kill the uh, exception that comes up by terminating it in the dialog box and then just select the next line and replay from there. And you may have to do that a number of times based on the state differences between the image you were working in and the image you're replaying in, but you should be able to just work through it and get everything back. Last night I was helping a guy who had a couple of months worth of work. In less than 15 minutes he had all of it back. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.